I'm Dr. Timmy Lee of Tribeca Soho Animal Hospital in New York City. Is your dog a kissable canine or does he have bad breath? Today I'm going to tell you why these questions are more important than you might realize. Today we're going to be using Ralphie here to teach you how to brush your dog's teeth. Right Ralphie? You excited? <laughs> so you're probably wondering who in the world brushes their dog's teeth? Well, everyone should. There are a host of health problems associated with poor dental hygiene. Your dog can develop periodontal disease or even tooth root abscesses. It's also important to inspect the gums for swelling or redness called gingivitis. Checking your dog's teeth will hopefully prevent any infection from traveling from the gums and the teeth down into their heart, liver, or kidneys. This can potentially prolong your pet's life. Checking your dog's breath is as simple as it sounds. Smells nice, Ralphie. Good job. If your dog does have bad breath, go to your vet immediately to get checked out. To keep your pet's teeth nice and healthy, I do recommend brushing. Initially, what I like to do is start off with young pets and just gently hold their mouth closed like so. And then just take just your finger nice and easy in a circular fashion and just go around the teeth and the gums themselves. So once he gets used to your finger, you can move on to a dog adult toothbrush. There's also small dog and cat toothbrushes that can be used and ones especially made for cats themselves. We do have toothpaste that is available for dogs and cats only. I usually like to use a little bit of the fun flavors for dogs. This one happens to be a chicken flavor, but there are other wonderful flavors out there like beef and salmon and even vanilla mint. Ready, Ralphie? Okay, good job. Oh, see, he loves it. Good job, Ralphie. Remember, guys, you only want to do the outside of the teeth. That beautiful tongue takes care of all the insides. Good job. Some important things not to forget. Don't give your dog gum. Never use human toothpaste or mouthwash. And hard treats are good and dogs love them, but alone, they're not enough. Remember guys, this is also a good idea for cats. I also recommend seeing your veterinarian once a year for a thorough dental exam. Ideally, you should be brushing your dog's teeth once a day but you'll still get a gold star from me and take a big bite out of health problems if you brush it three to four times a week. All of this can potentially prolong your dog's life. Want more information about pet care or to find pet products featured in this episode? Go to walmart.com slash pet center seven days a week for all your pet related needs.